good day everybody and welcome back for some more assertive modding for space engineers this project has been going on for a very 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 long time and has gone through a fair few evolutions in that time from being my attempt at making bases that could actually engage with the player on a slightly more interesting level uh where I would manipulate the antenna range of a base to allow it to use the vanilla drone spawning mechanics to send out drones to you like we saw in the early days of Survival Unlikely through to what it's hopefully going to be at the end of, fingers crossed, this week but I guess it's possible this could take me even longer and go into next week but I'm going to push really hard to get it to a point where this has more unique interactions than even that so I think the way to start this is for me to kind of define what I'm expecting to be release ready for the mod. And to do that, I kind of think I need to start coming up with a bit of a list. <laughs> I've been working on a bit of a list with a few people who have helped me out with this mod along the way. Um, and I'm just going to copy paste that list into notepad into a new file so that we can start working on what else needs to be added to it so all of the prefabs need to be updated with the new weapons all of the prefabs need to be updated with loot profiles which i can't actually remember how to do even though i did it on the last time i was doing this so i'm gonna have to relearn a few things which is gonna be <laughs> possibly uh time consuming but i think it's important because I, I want to have randomized loot. And I also want to have an ongoing reason for the player to keep interacting with the NPCs. Because I think that's lacking in a lot of the NPC mods out there. We can interact with the NPCs, but to be honest, most of the time it's easier just to mine resources rather than interact with the NPCs to get stuff. The other option that... A lot of these mods go for and i'm i don't have an issue with this it's just i want to try and do something different the other option is the um the npcs force you to interact with them by attacking you and i don't want to do too much of that i for a long time did think that was a great way to play space engineers having all these really diff difficult goals for release having all these really difficult encounters and struggling against it and doing all this stuff and then i realized that space engineers isn't as much fun when played that way for me all the time i want it that way some of the time but just not all of the time so what i want to try and do is make it so that you as a player have some agency over the evolution of the NPCs you're fighting against. If you're becoming a pirate and you're taking over lots of them, they'll get more aggressive, they'll get nastier to you, they'll do more things to take that choice away from you because you sort of took it away from yourself. You no longer get to sit there quietly because you were a bad guy. You did bad things. Um, so that's part of the difficulty settings and the difficulty will escalate as you attack ACS more. And that's already implemented to an extent. But I want to do some test things later on once we're closer to it. But I want this mod to be a complete encompassing NPC mod. So I want stuff that's on the moon. I want stuff that's on the earth. I want stuff that's on all the different planets. And I want the cargo ships in space at release i would like to eventually add in little asteroid bases and things like that but i think that's sort of out of scope for me getting this done to a level where uh people could actually start using it in a reasonable time frame if i keep pushing that allowing that scope creep to happen it'll get worse <coughs> excuse me it'll get worse and worse and we'll never see the mod release 
uh, which is part of the reason it's gotten to the point that it has anyway, because I did let that scope creep out further and further and further and further. Um, and I'd like to avoid doing that. So that's more like post-release sort of stuff, add-ons that I can do. Similarly, having underground bases and stuff like that is not something I want in the core thing. But if we go back to the list, the loot profiles I want to do and the lootable thrusters that uh, Grozob has made for me to use in this mod so that we have a goal for going after these NPCs because there's something they have you cannot make. So you have to go after them to get stuff. You don't need those things. You can build perfectly fine without them. They're just a nice to have. And that's where I think it the optionality comes in. Need to clean up the things. Yep. Multiple levels of difficulties. Add large grid drones. That, I think, is only a space thing. I don't really want large grid drones in Atmo. But I want some larger small grid drones for Atmo. Oh. That is tongue-burningly hot. Eh. <laughs> Uh, rename some weapons to other block types. Yeah, they'll, they'll do that eventually. That's more, that's more like build checklist stuff. Recheck all gravity-capable ships to ensure, yep. Create a spreadsheet of radio lines and get recordings for each. That's going to be something I need to do. And then eventually, after this, I want to run a test server where we can play and test things out. Uh, but yeah... Post-launch stuff is paint randomization may be a thing. I'm not sure that I'll do that. Um, add AI unenabled spawners and um, add asteroid bases. Um, this won't have any friendly cargo ships in it, Mogron. Uh, partially because there are issues with factions and stuff like that that make it hard to do that that's not in something i've got planned at this stage um so that's kind of where the plans are at if you if you guys have any other things that you think i'm forgetting let me know and i'll add them to this list so that we can go through and sort of tick things off because that's kind of what i'm going to be doing this is going to be a bit of a chill fix up the mod, get it ready to go, and just deal with each issue as it comes up and get it sorted, sort of stream. Uh, thank you so much, Jackson, for 32 months. Uh, thanks, Stingray. Uh, and also, people who subbed while I was offline, Magic Car Man Mike and Taco Bell Hotel. That doesn't sound like a hotel I'd want to go to. Um, Hydro and Cat, the mod will only be possible for Xbox if you're running a cross-platform server. The, But I do hope to put a version of it out that will work on mod.io, but that's not my top priority. My top priority is make the PC version work properly uh, and then do that as a secondary thing. Because I think um, there are because there are a bunch of aspects of it that are impossible to have on an Xbox server, unfortunately. The lootable thrusters are one example because there's scripting required to make that work. So let's first check what spawns we have eligible to us on the moon. Uh, planetary installation eligible bases that's good and we got a whole heap of cargo ships that are available as well because I think my threat score yeah it's 50 I set it to 50 so that it would um, at least show some of the spawns Yeah, Jetzilla, there will be more Survival Impossible. I have finished the recording for the next episode and hope to finish editing it on Wednesday to release that night. 
That's the plan for this week, so it should be back this week. Unless something comes up that stops me, in which case it'll be next week. I hope that doesn't happen. Because <laughs> I've, I've got a lot of recording done, and I really want to be able to show it off. Also, I built something little that I think is really cool that I want to show off. Uh, right. I honestly don't know where to start. <laughs> um. So I've got behavior for easy and medium difficulties. Let's start with that, because that's kind of where I should be fiddling. So these medium difficulty ones come with escorts. That was the thing that I stepped up in that. And I was thinking that the high difficulty would be more of a potentially even having an, a full large ship escort. I think that's what I was talking about on the last stream of that I did of this, where I was trying to work out where to go. Um. So I guess I, I guess what I might start with is just testing functionality that I have in place at present. So what I decided in the last stream I did of this was to not have threat score maximums for any spawns. So the idea was that you just increase the number of potential things that can happen as you fight the ACS spawns. Some of them, so even when you're right near the end, you'll still get the occasional ship that can only call in help. It doesn't actually come with its own escort. So I think that adds more variety rather than just making the difficulty spike up really quickly. The thing I'm going to have to test toward the end of this, once I've got it ready, is where these threat score minimums should really be. And my suspicion is they need to be a lot higher than this. Because it's really quite easy for your threat scores to get up fairly high. And I don't think I want the super difficult stuff to come until later. But because it's only there's only a minimum, you still, even if even if you've gotten to this level, there's still a 50-50 chance you'll get an easy spawn instead. Uh, something else I'm going to do when I release this is remove all except for this version as the live versions on Steam. All the other versions of the mod will be removed or hidden because I have so many different versions of this mod that I can't keep track of where the bugs are coming from when people tell me about bugs. Oh, I've got brightness on stream turned up. Thank you for that. I'll fix that. Uh, there you go, that should be better. I can't remember what game I was playing that I turned that up for. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy with the background being white. I'm used to it. Uh, I don't think it was for Arc, because this is just my Twitch setting, uh, Twitch profile settings. Uh, don't know what game it would have been. But it's you, like, unless, uh, unless we're in Notepad, it's probably not noticeable. It just allows you guys to see just that little bit more and to uh, for us to avoid the dark video encoding issues that Twitch and YouTube have. All right, let's... Let's test out the behavior of one of the cargo ships here. Slash MES dot spawn planetary cargo ship. Oh, 
Or does it have to be lunar cargo ship? Or is it space? I honestly don't know. Okay, so we got the Sojourner coming across. Can I see it yet? There it is. Now, in theory, the behavior, where have we got it? ACS space, easy behavior. So things that could happen and should happen is this should deviate to a base if I've got one. Uh, but the base has to be there at the time of cargo ship spawn, so we'll have to test that after. It should do stuff if I grind it. It should do stuff if I get a little bit near, and then get nearer, and then cause damage to it. Um, okay. So let's test the proximity side of things. Because last time I went to test this stuff, it was broken. Uh, I, I'd actually, I'm, I'd be interested to see a comparison, but I strongly suspect that light mode is encoded better because of the dark encoding issues that lots of things have. Okay, so that's good. We've got our, that's how things are supposed to work. So Jonah sends something out, assert commands, replies. But we don't get a drone there, which is intentional. Oh, maybe that's what I could change for the hard level ones. The hard level ones will not give you a warning. They'll just send out drones. Though we're not getting the next trigger. Well, that sucks. What have I broken there? Gotten a drone? No. Dang it. All right, let's jump to space easy trigger prox near. It should happen at 1500 meters. And then should either use broadcast chat, true, looks near. Should speed up the ship, which it hasn't done, because I'm at 26 meters a second. Should then do the thing so it'll slow back down again. And then should trigger spawner A. Prox near B, what does Prox near B do? Should do the chat, then should change the autopilot speed, and should spawn a drone. What was the difference between these two? Uh, why do I have two basically identical spawn actions here? So the way stuff, as I uh, best I can explain it with MES and these spawners works, you've got a trigger which is kind of like watching for something to happen. Then you've got the action, and then you've got the things that the action does. And you've got conditions you can set and change with those actions. And I'm guessing something's wrong here because we don't... didn't get... We didn't actually get anything happen at all. ACS space chat prox near. Is that even a thing? Is that part of the problem? 
Uh, I think I had a separate chat file somewhere. I thought, I thought TFE, so do you think because I've got chance percentages that it could possibly not happen? So what I, but I thought it had to be one of these two, but the chance just predicts which one's more likely. That was my understanding of it, but I could be wrong. Because I thought... You were just, it was a weighting of which one would be picked, not that none would be picked. But I guess it is possible none would be. So if that was the case, I need to have it so it would do two actions. Have a max actions of two and have one that's a guarantee and then have others that are not. Looking at that, it should activate both. No, 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 it'll only, act it'll only activate one action because the max actions is one. So it won't ever activate both. But they could both fail. Huh. Do I want that? Maybe I want that. Let's just see. See if anything else is broken. Uh, if I shoot this. Well, there we go. Uh, we got a Firefly inbound. Ah, uh, so I'd misunderstood the way that the those chance-based things worked. That's good to know. So when it takes damage, what was it supposed to do? Works need to be trigger damage. Action damage. Uh, new autopilot speed should have been set to 45, which it hasn't. Um, it did broadcast the chat. It did cause a spawner. Cause a spawn, but the, uh... Yeah, this ship ain't going faster. And I don't know why. Hmm. <sighs> why would that have not sped up? Has that command changed? It did hit 45, but it didn't stay there long. Did it? Or did it? Okay, so it did speed up. All right. Uh... Oh, TFE, since you're here at the moment, uh, do you know, is there a separate command for spawning, base, uh, spawning lunar cargo ships? To planetary ones or... Um, Whatchamacallit. Or space ones? Okay, the guppy's sending out its signal. Will it do something at 1500 meters? Aha, it did. Okay. I think TFE's likely to be right on that one, which does not surprise me. Lunar cargo ships are only for relatively large moons. Ah, uh, okay. So this is, so it would just be normal cargo. Okay, so I did the right thing. Cool. Um, so let's check the speed. Oh yeah. Up to speed. How long does it stay up at speed though?
Uh, and Panik, I haven't actually put on any inhibitors in any of the published versions of the mod. Uh, I was only going to put them on some of the bases. And I was... I wasn't necessarily going to put on jetpack inhibitors except for special things. Oops. A lot of locusts. Okay, so what was the grinder supposed to do? Um, so, trigger grinder. Actions, ACS at my grinder. Oh, what did I do for that one? So that should be in the Atmo Easy. Huh. Where did I put that behavior? Uh, do I not even? Hmm. Yeah, so that works. It sent out the message it's supposed to. Jetpack inhibitor on the interplanetary taco truck. Perhaps. Where the heck did I put that behavior? Is it somewhere in here? Atmo on the wings. Here we go. Action grinder. Uh, it's a chance based action. That's fine because I don't want it happening every single time. Check grinder. They're on the wings. It's supposed. To... Oh, I probably have spawned some stuff. Oh no, it's supposed to change the behavior of the ship when it happens. So, I'm not sure if the horsefly behavior still exists. Because um, that's what I was meant to do, which... At least in atmosphere, when I've had it working, it kind of spins the ship around and kind of tries to throw you off, which is kind of fun. Hey, thanks so much, Murden. Thanks for 25 months. It's just over two years. Crazy. Um... Uh, code on. Capac has a t shirt with that on it. Now. I think that's most of the actions and triggers tested. I think I'm happy with that. We're getting all the spawns. So that's space cargo ships tested. Um, I kind of need to test the medium spawns now. Which means I need to remember how to mess with my threat score using in-game commands. Which I always struggle with remembering. Thanks, Alcon. Uh, I wonder if Lucas sent me to the send me that in our Discord chat. Because remembering that command is very helpful for messing around with the different spawns without having to reload the game every time.
Uh, we talked about him adding the threat command. <laughs> uh, but no actual thing of it. Dang it. Ah, thanks, TFA. Here we go. Slash, enter. Slash mas dot settings dot general. It's no wonder I can't remember this thing. Threat reduction handicap dot I think okay I want to do that the other way around all right my threat score is now high enough fuel critical And next. What's the next thing I want to do? I want to get eligible spawns. Check that I've got the medium difficulty ones. Cause once I've once I've sort of checked up on where I'm up to with with this with all this stuff, I'll be able to then start figuring out what else I have left to do. Because this is one of the biggest problems I've had with working on the ACS background stuff like this. Because I've left often large gaps between when I've done it, I have to catch up again. So that's why I want to try and smash this out over the next week or so. Because then I won't need to catch up because I'll actually remember. It'll be fresh in my mind. All right, let's get a moon dancer and spawn it in. Oh, it's got its escort. Look at that. Yeah. It looks like a very pathetic escort for the size of the ship, but it's probably more deadly than the ship. Are oh, you welcome, Guitar EC? So, let's see what happens when I head towards the ship. In theory, that Firefly should start heading toward me and break off from its support role position. But I think that might have been what I was struggling with when I was last doing this, was getting that behavior switch to actually happen. Something like that feels right, though. Okay, we haven't had any notification that we've gotten too close, which is... Oh! Uh, got a locust inbound. But yeah, the firefly's not doing anything. Dang it. Alright. I just don't know what i got to work on now. So. Let's have a look at these spawns. What behaviour have I put on... These ship behaviour, AI small, at mode drone behaviour. That one's fine. Atmo escort behavior. I really should try and fix these names up at some point. Tech 
to things that need to be Atmo or space specific or things that just can be the thing. What's the escort behavior? Autopilot chat, escort behavior. Escort behavior should trigger on proximity at target distance 2Ks. It sends out the chat and it should switch to AI small Atmo drone behavior. AI small Ah, I think the name might be wrong or my small space drone behavior. Uh, AI small Atmo drone behavior. So that's the correct name. Why is it not switching behaviors? I cannot recall why. I think there were issues around this and I can't recall what they were. Hey, thanks, Tincho. <laughs> Indeed. Hashtag blame Kabak. I think even Kapak's clear from blame on this one. Oh yeah, sorry, Adaranen. I will do what I normally do that I forgot to do. And increase the size. So what should happen with this thing is the ammo escort behavior will get triggered. Uh, will be is applied to that drone. So if we look at the spawner, ammo escort behavior is applied to all of these. So it's a separate behavior to what the cargo ships have. That behavior Hey my file structure was the best I could come up with. I didn't I <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing when I started this and I still don't know now. I just tried to keep things into controllable chunks. Because I think when I first started out, Lucas was saying you should have a triggers file, an actions file, and a conditions and a whatever. And then he decided that that wasn't um, a good idea. Or at least that was my interpretation of what I was told, which may well have been wrong. So why is this not working? We got our chat, but it's just not changing to the new behavior. What I might do is actually move, create a new behavior for it and put it in that file. So that it's all in the same bit. So we're going to go rename this to ACS Escort Drone Attack Behavior. So that's replacing this name. So we switch to behavior fighter. Tr 
triggers. What are those triggers? Trigger death. Okay, I've renamed those too. Because I reckon what I've probably done is created two examples of that behavior in two separate files. And the trouble with doing that is then I, then I think it fails on both. Which is annoying. Uh, actually, leave that. So I think the autopilot data is in something separate, maybe? Oh man, I've made such a mess! <laughs> so, TFE, what's the what's the alternate thing for me to do instead of behavior switch? Because behavior switch has never worked reliably for me, even when I did have things a lot neater. Because I'd be happy to switch that out for something else that allows me to have the thing be passive until you get too close. So that's kind of what I need to do. Um, and the behavior switch is just awkward. Well, it, it's perfect. It's exactly what I want to do, but it's just, it's never been reliable. And I'm guessing that um, that's why it's end of life, because it never really worked as intended. Yeah, but the trouble is, TFE, I want... How do I make a... Like, if you're saying I list all the triggers in one behavior... Um, and they would start inactive until the trigger activates them. I need a trigger to switch off targeting. I need a trigger to switch off so many different things. And I want, like, how would I make a behavior fight, like the fighter type behavior, be passive? That sounds like heaps more work. So I don't know why that would be a better way of doing this. That seems like a much worse way of doing this. Because it seems like you got to turn off a whole lot of stuff to even get it to work. Because I want to switch between the behavior profiles unless Lucas is completely negating all behavior profiles. Um... That does seem like a worse way of doing things. Unless I'm missing a uh, misunderstanding something. Cause what I want to do is switch from cargo ship behavior to fighter behavior. Like that's all I want to do. I just want it to become a fighter when it does this. There's, there's nothing, there's no other special behavior changes. There's no, there's no like, there's, there's really nothing else. It's just that. So I'm, if, if that's not the best way of doing things, I'm clearly missing something big. Change behavior subclass value. Yeah, that's that's literally all I'm doing. I'm just changing it from a cargo ship to a fighter. But isn't that... <laughs> Hang on. So that's the new way of saying exactly what I've done. Okay. Let's just roll these changes back because I'm getting... 
half did a job and let's not do them. Uh, so, escort behavior. Starts out by behavior cargo ship. And then on trigger proximity, we will have the action this. And the action will change to, instead of switch behavior true, we will do change behavior sub class. I'm guessing that's true. And then new behavior sub class fighter. That should be it, shouldn't it? And let's reload. Uh, no, I probably don't want it at 80% chance. Whoops. I think I'll just get rid of chance altogether. Right. Should just be able to do a quick load and it'll load the new information in. Uh, the chance value, I can't remember why I even put it in on this. I should have always wanted Fuel stuff to critical. spawn as it was supposed to. Like, uh, uh, for that... Yeah, I have no idea why the chance was there. The chance for other stuff was so that... Because I don't like my behaviours to be fully predictable. I like things to happen sometimes, not all the time. Because the less predictable it is, the more you play a reactive game with the drones than a, I know exactly what's going to happen and I'll just do this thing. I prefer in this instance for things to have a bit less predictability to them. I gather that's not always what you want in a game, but I think in this instance, having less predictability creates more fun. But with a drone like this, it's an escort drone. You will always want it to attack if someone comes close. That's kind of the idea. we go. Okay, hostile spotted. Is the firefly coming toward me? Nope. Firefly is doing nothing. Oh? Oh no, that's because I'm I got within range. Why do you hate me, drone? Why do you hate me? I mean, why do you not hate me? Nothing. Ah! <laughs> huh. Oh, 
Why? Oh, I wish I was better at navigating this wiki as well. I am not good at finding the information I need to find. I still think it's using the... So, hang on. Um... Where's my target profiles? So how do I use this targeting profile? Uh, yes, Tincho, I could make a an orange drone that plays the fun music, but I'm not sure I want to. I actually want to play with this mod active. <laughs> not make myself hate myself. Uh, Codon, I am not targetable, but that doesn't matter for the MES drones. It only matters for turrets. Targetability is irrelevant to MES. It uses a different method. Method. If I define this, where else have I defined this? Ah, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, TFA. I should probably just get you in voice chat and do all of this. Um, but I find it hard to think when I'm getting too much said. Uh... Escort behavior. So when we do this switch, which is here, we want to All right, so we go change target profile. File. Uh, true. And then new target profile ID to be this one. And then refresh target true. And remove all the things. Save. Reload. Now, so I think I reloaded when I'd made the changes after I'd made them not before I I think I just got rid of the chance thing and then Critical. I did another reload as well let's just give MES a chance to start up so I can then spawn this thing and see if it works now Yep, we got it. I think this is the last big behavioral thing that I was struggling with. Because most of the other stuff that I wanted to do is based on 
build escalation rather than behavior escalation. Also, and someone please remind me, if the, once I've got this working, I need to go back and change the on the wings behavior so it uses this same way of changing, of switching behaviors up. Because then it should actually work. Alright, Firefly, are you coming toward me? Or are you still just chilling? You're still just chilling. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are just chilling. You're not doing anything. That is a normal level of warnings. Welcome to my life with this mod, TFE. Welcome to my life. So let's try something different. Um, new, not new folder. Let's copy this target profile. Let's create a new one. <laughs> Can I get off the ride at the next stop, please? Come on, Tiffy. You you know you want me to get this thing working. <laughs> Tiffy, you're my only hope. Unless Lucas shows up. Hey, Drago. <laughs> ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Why? Get target by closest distance. That's fine. It should be working. Why isn't it working? Ah. <laughs> that is good timing. <sighs> Why is it not working? Yes, Drago, I'm sure I'm I'm sure my level of uh abilities with this stuff would will cause you to pull your hair out. Now let's run through it again and see if I can find where this is wrong. Chat data, the chat is working. So the action is getting triggered, which is fine. Um the change behavior subclass thing. Should be right. Spent over six hours total pulling my hair out, trying to get a planet not rend to not render. I'm presuming that's for your rotating planets mod. Yep. <laughs> that all seems very hard. It's beyond my ken.
<sighs> Does a transparent planet? No, oh, I won't even. No, I'm not even going to ask Drago because I won't understand. <laughs> Trigger's working. That's fine. That trigger directs to here. Which directs us to get the chat broadcast, which works. The chat data's collected, which fine. It's this step that's not working. Hmm. So for Ankami, this is my NPC mod thing for module encounters. And I'm trying to figure out why the behavior of this drone, just somewhere around here, there we go, there, is not changing when it should be. What's the autopilot the drone starts with look like? Uh, so it's the cargo ship one. Not sure it's even defined. Uh... Oh, yeah, here we go. Is that it? Where is it? What the heck is going on in there? Um Why? <sighs> so it starts with Atmo. Uh, what did I call it? Yeah, I, I don't... Uh, ACS Autopilot Cargo Ship. So it starts with this. Or this. Oh, so I'm probably in the way of the cargo ship. That makes sense. And this this command allows it to be called to like this profile allows it to be called to a nearby thing, I think. So is there something here that you can see, TFE, that might explain why it's not even getting a target? I think I might have removed the trap from your ship. Because I removed a lot of the traps from a lot of the ships. Um... Hey, cat back. Or should I wait? Because it always takes a while. Uh... 
Do you want to play some EDF tomorrow, Capac? Is that why you opened with uh, EDF? <sighs> yeah. This is... <laughs> This is weird, TFE. This is really weird. This is where I need Lucas and all his clever... Unless you know them as well. The debugging things so we can see where it's breaking. There should be a mod in City Skylines that lets you use your map for ADF. I love that idea. And yes, I did just get that because Capac showed up. Exactly, Gruz. Exactly like Thimcopter used to use your yeah, SimCity maps. Um. Alrighty, I will give that a shot. Let's get another Moon Dancer in. Wait, can I actually do this with Spectator? The bird is not far from my window, Mike. It's really annoying. Enter slash mes dot info dot get grid behavior sent to clipboard. Um. Closing in on the drone. Where'd it go? Hey, Nev. <laughs> I thought the bird was a mod. Yes, thank you, Kavak. this just be easier yeah 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 I got in your way I know quit complaining also go away space wasp oh no that's not what I meant to do Uh, 
but it's not. This isn't giving me the info we need, though, TFA, because this is still just saying space escort behavior, which it, it is in that behavior. It's just not in that behavior type. Why? Why? Just need this to work. I just need this to work. I just need to time these sport these streams when Lu <laughs> Lucas can show up as well. I uh, I changed the names of things. So for the targeting, I would change the target profile ID. All right, there was more info there. I see. Uh, do, 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 do. Behavior subclass, cargo ship. It is not switching. Current target is me. So it's got the target, but it's still staying as a cargo ship. Uh, codon, I my thing is already triggering that stuff. The so it is currently triggering a chat and the drone spawn. Something is broken in the action. That's why I'm focused on that level because everything else is working. Um, so if, if we go back to it, uh, not that one. <laughs> Thanks, Gavac. So this is triggering that chat. That chat is working because we saw the drone sending out that chat data. The thing that's not working is this. It's only that part of the action that isn't working. Actually, did it say anything about its target profile ID? In here. Not that I can see. Uh... It's so annoying. This is one of the few things I think I actually need to fix. And then it should all be fine. What I mean is remove everything but change action to see if that command works in isolation should have an impact. Really got to close some of these files because it's getting confusing.
Nope, I do not have another behavior that does this thing. In fact, it looks like all of my behaviors that would... All of my thing... Everything that I had set up to change behavior profiles like this is broken now. Um, so I don't know what to do because I haven't got anything to anything that's functional to work off and compare to. Which is annoying. Yeah, DE Lucas is always tinkering. I don't know what he's done, though. I don't know if I've... I remember I, I remembered he was here when I got this to work last time, and it's now broken again. And I don't know what to do or even where to start to get it fixed. So the line of code that tells the, uh, well, it's these two lines. So when we get to, by the time we get to this action being triggered, the drone is currently a cargo ship. So as it comes into this action, the action tells it to send out the radio message, which it does without problem. Uh, it then says change behavior subclass, which should then change it to that behavior subclass of fighter. And then we change our target profile to this escort dr drone targeting file. And then we refresh the target just to make sure that it's picking the current closest target rather than one it's picked up earlier. That might not be the current closest. Yeah, I have no idea if Lucas even uses anything like this in any of his mods. So I've got no idea where I could even start with that. And every time I look at his wiki, I can never find anything. <laughs> I think it's just a failure of me understanding where to look for it. Like, I know the information's there, but I can never find <laughs> anything at all. Robot Raiders Pods has an example. Let's have a look. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, Steam, Steam apps, workshop, content, 254850, and this file is 25986. Uh, the fighter class behavior is defined by MES. It's one of their def it's one of the default uh, behavior types. Uh, it's not in there. Arrives at the drop. Change behavior subclass true. New behavior subclass passive. That looks exactly the same as what I've got.
Change behavior subclass, true. New behavior subclass, passive or fighter. As far as I... So if we look at the... Um, if we're looking at the wiki, these are the types of... These are the behavior-specific tags. These are the tag names of them. So we've got cargo ship, we've got fighter, horse fighter, horse fly, hunter, nautical, passive, and strike. So you can set up which of those you want. Now, why has Lucas got allowed values of those here, not that? Or is it just that this is old and he didn't have those in yet? Uh, but yeah, fighter should fighter is the correct name. So we, I, I know already that the drone is targeting me, because we've got that information from the debug that TFA just sent me. Um, so if we look here, it was. Current target, Splitsy. So even when it was the cargo ship, it still had me as a target. So it's not that it hasn't targeted me, it's that it hasn't switched behavior because it's still showing that it is of the behavior subclass cargo ship. Try taking out the change targeting. Yeah, could try that. I don't want to take out the chat command because the chat's effectively acting like a debug because it shows me that the thing is actually working. That the action's getting triggered. Uh, no, 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 Nev, it's just that I haven't... I initially named these things Atmo when I was starting, but it's actually not. It's just because I thought they might have to be different for space. They don't, so I really should just go back and rename them. The Atmo is not actually a thing. Um... So I'll try taking that out. Remove all the things. Save the game. And reload. Yeah, Vase, I might give that a go. See if trying one of the other behavior profiles works. Critical. 
Alright. Let's fly up to another one. Actually, let's simplify things. I'll remove that. Oh. Right. <laughs> the, uh, the moon dancer was actually relaying the firefly's signature. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Let's see what it says when we go up and get the details. I think fighter is one of the most used things in MES, so I, I think it's unlikely that that is broken. Let's have a look. Still says cargo ship. But just because I don't think it's going to be the problem doesn't mean it isn't the problem. Let's change this to horsefly. Ah, uh, no, never. I don't have a second trigger to change it back. These drones attack you till they die. So, uh, the behavior is very different when the cargo ships spawn in a drone. Those drones come in as... Uh, what do they start as? Those drones start as fighters to begin with. They don't ever, they're not ever anything different. So there's no behavior change for them. They spawn as a fighter and then they just fight you. I can't remember what I was going to do. Whoops. Not that. Oh, that's what I was doing. Just making sure. So let's go horsefly. See if that works. It shouldn't, but it might. In fact, I shouldn't need to fully reload the game, but I'm gonna. Uh, actually, do I have a trigger that sends changes back? No. I've just got triggered for death. That's it. Book critical. Rid of the moon dancer again. Regret what you just did. Noisy bird.
Still cargo ship. Uh, like Lucas doesn't actually turn off the trigger. But he's possibly doing that because if he is doing it somewhere else in one of the other files is that that's because he's changing to passive. Got something else I want to try. Also, I just did that totally on the wrong file. Oops. Behavior name, passive. Uh, the annoying JC, I have no plans on bu uh, bug fixing or troubleshooting previous versions of this mod. I'm going to get this working and then all those old versions are going to be removed. So any issues you're having, I'm not dealing with them here, unfortunately. My way I'm dealing with them is by coming up with something completely new and better. So if we start with passive, let's see if that even works. Because if that's not working, then we're triggering the wrong behavior somehow. Uh, no, Drago, they are not. My Atmo NPCs are not flagged to fly in advanced lift. I think... Doesn't Lucas do something to just ignore some of that stuff? Fuel critical. To be honest, the last time I messed with any of this stuff was before you'd done the advanced lift stuff to any level where it could be used with NPCs. <laughs> so that's why it's not there. Um, and to be brutally honest, that would be lower on my priority list than getting these behaviors working, which are frustratingly not working right now. But yeah, I'm only testing this in space at the moment because I was here. <laughs> These behaviors are all the same for the ammo stuff, so it should... If I can get it working here, it should just work for all of it. I'd be, to be honest, I'd be surprised if a lot of my ships work with advanced lift because they're usually lacking or just borderline on the thrust department, except for lift, except for lifting thrust. But they may have so little forward thrust that they can't push against the track. <laughs> That's what I was thinking might be a problem. Oh yeah, the...
Are you talking when you're saying advanced lift, Drago? Are you talking about the where the thrusters actually have to be balanced, or are you talking about the aerodynamics mod? You're just talking about aerodynamics, right? Oh. Why, hello. Oh, no, was I? I think you guys were right. I think I did have a separate space one somewhere. Or nowhere. Maybe I don't even have a space one. This is still saying cargo ship. Where is my ACS space app escort behavior? Oh, I'm so confused with what I got open now. Oh, I'm so annoyed at myself right now. I knew it would be something stupid like this. You guys were right. <laughs> I just... I where, where was I looking that... Oh, I looked at the wrong spawn groups. I looked at the outmost spawn groups. Because I'm an idiot. I'm meant to be looking at... I've got too many things open. I don't have so many things open. <sighs> okay, we don't need separate escort behaviors. That's just making things confusing. The good thing is the old behavior wasn't working, so exactly what TFE told me to do to fix this should be requ uh, what I need to do for the other behaviors. Uh, let's just close these manipulation profiles. Close that. My brain hurts. My brain hurts so much. This is so hard. <laughs> and, and this, like... I try very hard not to be certain with everything, but I was certain with something and that's why I went wrong. I need to check, but I thought I'd checked. I just messed up my check. All right, let's go back to here. Let's go back to our behaviors. I want to just have a single escort behavior. We do not need a separate atmospheric or space one, I think. Or maybe we do. Turns out I was better at naming things than I thought I was, and that was my undoing. So let's fix this up. Save that. Space has got behavior. Why do I need to have two? Do I need to have two? Is 
Is there anything different in the way that these are going to interact with the player that... So I think... I think Lucas's fighter behavior can work just fine in space and Atmo, so I don't think I need to have two separate things. But if I don't have two separate things now, adding one later is going to be a pain. I'll leave it. I'll leave it so we've got one. So we bring this in. Let's try it again. Uh, why can't I just be smart and figure these things out straight away? Uh, yes, I'll, I'll test this and see if the targeting change is necessary because it may not be. The targeting refresh should be, but I don't know the other thing's going to be needed. I'm just going to do it. Step by step, work through it slowly. Just doing it fast is what often is my undoing. <laughs> this is how you get smart for the next time. <laughs> Fair enough, Kaiba. Oof. Good news is, as I've been saying, once this has worked out, that's the cargo ship behavior sorted. Because for the harder difficulty ones, we're just going to have more drones or nastier drones, not different behaviors. Oh, oh. That looked like it shifted heading. Though it is still moving real slow, so maybe not. Well, that's different. Hello? Or is that just because I was flying in front of it? I think that's just because I was flying in front of it. Let's see what it's doing. Okay, it's it's in horsefly. It's targeting me. But yet it's not targeting me? Maybe I'd wait at waypoint. Uh, yeah, I feel more confused now. Horsefly is for turrets. Well, that might explain a lot. Uh, let's fix that then. Space. Let's go. Oh, right. I was using Horsefly for the big ships. Because Horsefly is kind of a good one for the big ships. So the type we might want to go with is... What does Strike do? 
The strike behavior is designed primarily for small grid drones or fighter craft. It utilizes forward-facing static weapons to engage targets. The behavior will fly in the general direction of a target, and once it gets within a certain range, it will change, charge directly at the target and engage with static weapons. It will then break from the charge, retreating a short distance, and then attempt another charge. If the target is on a planet near the surface, the charge maneuver is reminiscent of a dive bomb. And compared to fighter... I think I might go with Strike. I think Strike is what we want. I think Strike keeps it moving and keeps it a bit more dynamic. Am I on the old wiki? Maybe. Am I? I don't know how to get to the new one. Why hasn't Lucas updated the thing that links to it? And chances again set at 80. Thank you. So it may not feel like it, but you guys make a huge, huge difference to how fast I can get this stuff done. There we go, I'm on the new one. Get rid of that. I try to listen, Delaney. I try. I just don't. I just often don't understand. Um, I was I was talking about this earlier during my Ravenhurst stream. The hardest thing during the Ark stream the other day was the number of people who know more about the game than me trying to tell me to do things, and lots of people telling me different things and things that I don't have the basis in the game to understand what they were trying to tell me. And when you're typing stuff to someone, really, really short descriptions of something that were for something I saw 30 seconds ago are very hard to follow. Like, very hard to follow. So I was, I was getting frustrated between not knowing which chat instructions to listen to, having Pav and Kapak trying to give me directions which I couldn't understand. So I snapped at Kapak a couple of times. I was just like, I can't. you got to give me clearer instructions. I, You know I don't understand these things. That's all right. We've been friends for so long. Such things do not have any big impact on our friendship. Chat was also pretty active that night, so it was actually moving quickly and hard to follow from that front. Which is something I'm not complaining about. Come on, Firefly. You're not moving very quickly. Do I have your top speed set too low or something? actually doing the new behavior? No, you fold that doesn't work either. Cuz that'll be painfully slow. <laughs> um and I can't one of the things that's also really hard is in multiplayer, I can't just sit around and wait for chat to talk me through something because Capac and Pav will go off and do something that's more fun than what I'm trying to figure out. And I'll feel like I'm missing out, which I can't I can't do either. It was why there was much less chat interaction with wrong way with the wrong way series than with other things, because there's just too much chat.
Okay, what's wrong now? Why is this still not working? It's on approach target, but it is not approaching me. Still got me as a target. I wonder if I do need to do the stuff that TFE was suggesting. To switch the targeting profiles. Let's try doing that. So... Change target profile through new target profile ID is I created a new file for that, didn't I? Yeah, escort target profile. And then let's do the refresh the target. Refresh target true. Fuel critical. And then save, and then reload. And pop the lid off my thermos of miso so that I can get the bits of seaweed that are at the bottom. Please work. Please work. I'm sick of this not working. Please work. Hmm. Please, 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 please. Or even if it doesn't work, at least give me a different error so I can see where I'm going. Ooh. Okay, this seems different. That's coming in real fast. Seems like it's actually moving. Is it going to start shooting me if I stay still? Is it going to go straight past? It is still not shooting at me. Why are you not shooting at me? We were shooting before. So shooting's enabled. What's going on? Why are you being weird, thing? Why? Strike is what is... So it's... Oh, why? 
Behavior mode is set to approach target, but it's not switching from approach target to attack target. I don't know. Terminated false. Right, let's let's try fighter and see if it works. I don't want it to like me. I want it to hate me. I want it to hate me and try and kill me. Fuel critical. I do definitely have the chance off, don't I? Yes. Ah, uh, I don't know, Consti. I have no idea if Digi's SPC reload mod tool would work for MES stuff. Well, that's promising. Chase me? Ow. Yeah, you're gonna chase me. So maybe there's something funky with the strike behavior in space. With my drone. Yay! Yeah, Galadas. Successful hate. Oof. Alright, now I want to try what happens when... I have a moon dancer and I just fly up to it. <laughs> yeah, TFP, it only took two hours. <sighs> uh, it's possible that strike was just for atmosphere. It's possible. I didn't think it was, but it is possible it was. Firefly breaks off from the main ship. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. It should be heading my way to try and kill me. Yeah, Consti, have you got any idea why um, Strike wouldn't be working for me here? It's a bit odd. Oh, right, so there are probably some other tags I needed for Strike that weren't there, whereas Fighter, because he uses vanilla autopilot, can just deal. Fair enough. 
I'm happy enough with this though. I'm about to get slammed by a space wasp at the same time as the firefly that was already here. Because basically the idea behind this particular spawn difficulty increase is if you get close to this ship, instead of having a drone come at you from miles away, this time the drone is already there and so is actually going to potentially create multiple places to get hit from. Yay! Yay, Badger Gloss. All right. So, what have we tested so far? <laughs> Next thing I need to test is fixing the on the wings, which I have named Atmo, but this one definitely has just the one version. Uh... Okay, I'm going to have to fiddle with this one a bit. So what I'm what I've currently got this set up to do is on the when when you grind the ship Three quarters of the time, this will this action will have been triggered. And what this action currently does is attempt to switch the behavior to this new behavior. Uh, where it preserves all of these sorts of things. And this new behavior has the horsefly style of fighting. And then after trigger escape. So after a minimum cooldown, it will then switch back to its regular thing and go on its merry way. So what I should be able to do, instead of having this change a complete behavior profile, we can use the new technique of the changing behavior subclass. So we switch behavior subclass here and switch to horsefly and we probably don't need these bits of information anymore and that means we also don't need this bit so we got our and we also don't need this bit because those are all still defined in the main behavior because we're only ta changing the subclass. I just don't need the death. But we do want this trigger escape. So this trigger escape needs to be added to the basic cargo ship trigger lists. So it's there. But how do I... This needs to have a condition to it. And that condition would be... Oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh, so for this trigger escape to work, so what I basically what I want to have happen is once the cargo ship has changed to the horsefly style of fighting um, if you somehow get killed 
and a certain amount of time has passed, then it will change back to the cargo ship and still and try again to get to its exit point. So I think to do that, what I need to do is have it so that when this grinder action is triggered, we have a condition that is set to true, and this trigger is only triggered when that action when that condition is set to true. I think those who followed this did that description make any sense? <laughs> Hardly. Great. Uh... Thank you, Axendo. <laughs> I'm glad it made sense to someone. How do I do conditions? Where have I done conditions before so I don't mess this up? I have conditions in my... No, nope, that's spawn groups. What am I doing? Yeah, my all clear works in a similar way. So let's copy that back to where's my ammo on the wings? Back to here. What did I just do? Uh, why did I copy part of the thing? <laughs> it makes sense in an abstract, I don't know what Splitzy is doing sense. Sure. Uh... Come on, brain. On the wings, trigger all clear. Let's first rename that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Holiday. Capac <laughs> said I should sub. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Matcha. Thanks so much for 32 months. It's crazy that you you guys with the little first tag things, the founders, are now at 32 months. It's getting weirdly, scarily close to three years since it started streaming semi-regularly on Twitch. Not just you, Matcha, I do too. Okay. So the trigger for the escape. Minimum cooldown, I want that set to these. Uh... 
uh, and actually there's a better trigger than a timer based thing for this surely I'm doing good matcha hope your day goes well there should be a better way to do this Surely there's a way I can trigger based on no target in range. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying Survival Unlikely Holiday. That was a lot of fun to make. Uh, do, 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 do. A trigger will that will activate activate when NPC has no valid target. Yeah. That's what I think I want. Oh no, wait, target far is what I think I want. Because that way once... No. These are still going to need conditions to work, but I think this is a better thing than a timer. Uh, no target. Oh. What? Now I'm confused. What can I... I thought this would have where... Yeah, Deeper Sea, I can mess with stuff like aggro range. That's not where I'm at right now, though. Uh... What I'm trying to do at the moment is if you've managed to get on board an enemy ship and starting to grind through a door or something and the gr and at that point the uh, remote control is still active, then it will change behavior mode to become a horsefly style behavior, uh, which means it'll be a bit more aggressive towards ships and things nearby. It's unlikely that's going to do much except for rattle you when you're on there, but it's, it's still fun. So what I want to do is if you're killed and then there's no ship nearby, I want it to return to its cargo ship behavior so it will try and get to its despawn point. And I'm not sure which of these options is the best to do and how to set up these options once I do it. Thanks for 15 months, Holden Forever. I'm sure you'd be pleased with the vehicle that's in my driveway. Which I should probably sell, because I don't drive much these days. Well, I want the drone to allow you to escape. Which you should be able to if you get outside. Like if it's done with a no target, so it can't actually target you anymore, then that should work. Or 
if it's a target far or player far, the player far should work quite nicely because that would allow you to get to say, if we set it at a one kilometer range, it'll then change its style of attack and revert to cargo ship and it'll let you back off. And that's what I'd like. Um, but that's still going to need a condition. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to go with player far. Player far. Now, what have I done with my plan nears? Because it'll be the same setup. Same sort of thing as this. Uh, now, the minimum cooldowns can stay like that. Yeah, so this is going to call this action. That's the trigger. What have I done? I got two. I got two triggers. Let's get rid of that. So it's going to call this action. Yes. Wait, no, this needs to change. Also, since this is not actually out mode, let's just clean up that where we can. Conditions will be this. Okay. Now I have to set up the condition. Yeah, what have I done? Clearly deleted things wrong. Uh, I'm so lost. Now again. All right, let's start from the top. So trigger escape. It's a player far trigger. Use trigger. True. Target distance. If you get to 1500 meters, it will back off. Max actions one starts already true. Minimum cooldown. That should be shorter. Maybe 30 seconds. Don't actually think I. Uh, yeah, I'll leave those. Um. Yes, yes. So then we will get our action. Of action escape. which will turn us back into a cargo ship. And I might set some speed differences, but we'll just leave it for this as this for now. Because I might make it actually escape and try and run away from you. So I'll set its speed to something quite high. Um, which will make it harder to use this for tactical retreats. So 
for condition all clear, what we want is true booleans on the wings all clear. So with my Atmo easy behavior, when do I mess with those conditions? Set booleans true, ACF ship true speed up. Okay. So I want to use this on the first action. So this will set booleans true on the wing all's clear. Didn't need both of those. I need to make that target distance further away. Oh no, I don't, because the grinder, you're going to be real close by the time that's triggered. Yeah, Holiday, I wrote all the assertive mods. Um, Pav's made a few of the bases. Like, he made the assertive bunkers, bases and drones, but all of the behaviors and stuff were things that I created with help from Lucas and TFE and other people. But, yeah. Ostensibly my work. <laughs> um... In theory, I think that's right. So let's see. Yeah, I got the bug. <laughs> Thanks, Graz. Please, please, please work. Ah, oh, nuts. While I'm testing this, I should really have that chance set to 100. I will see if it works, and if it doesn't work, I will set that to 100 and I will try again. Gruz, that's not a bad plan, actually. Um, put a bird feeder further away from my shed and see if they go there instead to distract them. start off with that command. Let's just check what it's doing. So right now we are cargo ship and we're approaching our target. We've got me as a target. Now if I grind it we've got that they're on the wings and yep it's starting to tilt. It's doing horsefly behavior. There's only so much it can do as do with the horsefly behavior. Um, not sure that's going to be the right behavior, but what I need to do now 
is... Let's lock to it, because I want to run that command once I get far enough away. So I set it to 1500 meters, so when I'm 1500 meters away, in theory it should start going back towards its target. It's not, but let's just check what it's doing. Still horsefly. Huh. Alright, where'd I go wrong? <laughs> so we got into horsefly mode. We got our chat. Our trigger escape is not working. Let's put a chat at um, trigger escape to see if the trigger even works. All right, the action. Um, That might have been because of the cooldown. Nope, still horsefly. Uh, yeah, there is... I've sort of did a, a bit of... I laid out a bit of the outline at the start of the stream as to what I'm hoping to achieve with the mod. Most of it's there. I just want to make sure everything's working before I finally... before I put it as a released thing because this is one mod to replace all of my npc mods because i will consider all versions except for this one as no longer supported um okay so we need new chat data Oh, 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 it's now doing something different. What's it doing now? Still horsefly. Okay. Fuel critical. I did not set it to one hundred. Dang it. Let's just get rid of that, because I didn't need a chance for that. At least reloading doesn't take long. That would be much, much worse.
Fuel critical. Hmm. Eventually this thing will work. I'm sure of it. Maybe. Oh, I just had a thought of <laughs> something I kind of want to do, uh, which is make the small grid drones uh, detonate in your face if you get up to them with a the grinder. But no, stop adding extra things, just get the stuff that's in here that already is working. Okay. Grid behavior. Let's check. Is it a cargo ship at present? Yes. Okay, that much of it's worked. Now, I think it would do more if I enabled, if I set myself to be targetable. But because I'm not targetable and it's trying to hit me with guns, it struggles. Hey, Psychotic Butcher. How's it going? Um. Berg. You gonna work now? Or are you not gonna work? Are you gonna still hate me? I reckon there's something wrong with my bar proximity trigger thing that I've got going on here. Yeah, it's still a horsefly. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with that. So we didn't get the chat message either. So I'm going to get rid of these cooldowns. Um, and now I'm going to go and check to see if there's anything that Lucas has written about what I can do here that I can find. Because I should be looking for... Um... Uh... What do I need to do with these triggers? Yeah, Psychotic, that's exactly what this is for. Oh. Uh, did I get a chat message? No. Still says horsefly. Yeah, it's definitely still horsefly. Yeah. What I'm looking for. Often for these trigger type things. All right, here we go. Allow target far without target. This is what I'm looking for. Hmm. 
No, Mr. Tin Man, they don't. Those are not my encounters. They're someone else's. Um... So, oh, I know what the problem is. I haven't actually enabled this trigger in the, like, overall beha overarching behavior file. So the trigger doesn't even exist, according to the thing. Uh, it's in space easy. Atmo easy should have it as well. Um, and I don't think I've done anything to make a medium difficulty behavior as yet. I think easy is actually just default. Now, these are all XML files, Holiday. Um, with Lucas's own way of doing things as well. Um, maybe that'll work. Let's see if that was enough. I'm suspicious that might be enough. Thanks, Holiday. Thanks so much for the bits. Uh, <laughs> Fuel critical. Please work this time. Please, please, please. But yeah, with with me not having the trigger even in that uh, trigger in the beginning of that behavior thing, it wasn't going to work at all. Uh, actually, I just got to quickly check something. What spawn groups? Space medium. What behavior profile am I using? Space easy behavior. Okay. Just making sure it was actually the correct behavior profile. Change behavior. Now let's see if it changes back. Ah, it says I'm out of here. So we got that much. Let's go check and see if it shows updated. So if it does, then we can mess with the speed. Cargo ship! Yes! Victory is mine! Ugh. 
Yeah. <sighs> that feels good. All right. So next thing is increase the speed. So my regular behavior. I don't forget my speed set to. There we go. That's what I want. <laughs> Dragon forty five. Actually, let's go. Forty five is pretty fast for a cargo ship. Yeah, that's fast enough. Fuel critical. Okay. This feels good. I think mostly. So the next stuff, so this is all the cargo ship behavior sorted. It'll do stuff when it's ground on, when you attack it with a grinder. It'll do stuff when you cause any damage to it at all. It'll do stuff when you get close to it. And it'll do stuff, um, and it has drones that'll assist it depending on the difficulty level and how many you get will vary with that. I think that's all the behavior I wanted from the cargo ships. For now. I have ideas for later, but the, the main stuff, I think that's what's needed. That's the stuff that ACS has always done, and now it does it better. Uh, I don't know whether it'll reactivate Horsefly if I chase it and continue dr to grind it. Um you got to be fairly far away from it, so let's see if I can catch up to it. Got to test to see if it's going the right speed first as well. In theory, it should be going 45 meters a second. it is clearly trying to do ish so the speed setting has worked but it might want to go a bit faster let's see what happens if I grind it again I think I might have made this so it only triggers once yeah oh no back to horsefly <laughs> cool that's kind of what I wanted I wanted it to be able to flick between states as needed Now it should flick back. Maybe. Maybe it won't ever flick back now. That could be a problem. Yeah, it's not flicking back. Hmm. <laughs> How much do I care about that? Huh. 
Have I done something that means that that's the case? Oh. No, because the condition's set after the first grinding action. So, set billions true to all clear should be fine. Uh... So max actions one is not how many times this action can happen, it's how many of the actions, if you have multiple here, can be triggered. Wonder why it doesn't flick by again. Flick back. Huh. How do you make an action triggerable multiple times? I actually don't know. I've not done that anywhere. That might be important. I didn't think you needed to. I thought it would just do it. Uh, let's go to No. Thought this would be where max actions would be. Oh no, that was in triggers, wasn't it? Dang it. Max cooldown. Max action. This track specifies how many times the trigger is allowed to activate its actions. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I want that minus one. And action escape. And because I didn't set a max action for action grinder, it was fine. So if I just don't set one, it should also work. For that trigger. Let's try that again. So these are the these are the sorts of edge cases I wouldn't have thought to test myself. Probably. Critical. Yeah, Tin Man. That's one of the common things that people come up with. It's all good. Uh, let's just teleport. See if that's going to break anything. It shouldn't. Uh... I think I what I've been thinking of doing with my installations is that the larger installations will have drill inhibitors. If you're willing to use drills to try and do um like try and drill all the way to the enemy base, then be my guest. 
That's a massive waste of time, and if you want to waste your time that way, I'm not going to stop you. But on the bigger bases, the ones that are supposed to be better defended, then yes, I will stop you from drilling in holes to give yourself bunkers to run along. Oh, sorry. Uh, trenches to run along. Alright, grind. They're on the wings. The more, after talking about RimWorld and what Tynan's done with RimWorld, I'm realizing more and more my role as making, my role in making this mod is not about stopping players from making, from doing cheesy tactics on most, in most situations. My role is to make it fun for the majority of players. And the majority of players won't use cheesy tactics because cheesy tactics are boring. As in boring to implement and boring to play that way. You just need to destroy, uh, make it enough of an annoyance to do them for the regular player. Okay, that's definitely switched back. Figured I'd try and make it face around opposite to what it was doing as cargo ship, so when we get far enough away, we should be able to see if it's worked. That looks promising. Go check. Hey, is there or not? Uh, the mod goes well so far. I mean, it took me two hours to realize something that someone told me at the start that I'd messed up, but we're still getting <laughs> we're getting places. Things are getting better. Things are getting closer. So can't complain about that. And we're back at cargo ship. Yes! Okay, cool. It'll flick back and forth between the two anytime you use a grinder and then run away. That is nice, because that's... That opens up some opportunities for me to do things with behaviours later. To make things more complex. But I'm not messing around making things more complex at this stage. All I want to do at this stage is make... The cargo ships should be done now. What I need to test is we've now got it all working on space cargo ships. Now I've got to test to make sure it's working on the atmospheric ones too. And if it's working on the atmospheric ones, then we're good. We're all, all done with the cargo ship side of things. The next side of things is testing the bases. And they're a bit more tricky to test because there are some long timer based things that I need to test for it that uh, I want to make yeah do I want to make the chance reduced I think since it doesn't oh actually let's try this let's set it low um, I can't oh hang on no no I need to leave this high first because this is the same one that will be triggered by the atmospheric ships so I'm wondering if this is a potentially this is potentially something that can be triggered every time you apply your grinder. So if I set the chance to say five percent, you could get all the way almost all the way through a door before it finally gets triggered. Or you could get through a few blocks before it finally gets triggered. So it could be quite variable in timing because the chance is low and you've you're just increasing the number of chance because there are that many chances that can happen. It's almost guaranteed to happen. It's just the timing of the event is difficult to predict. Ah. 
Hello? Have we got any eligible spawns? Yes. Why are you not spawned? Because I'm using the wrong command. That's why you're not spawned. So excited for getting this to a point where I can, um, okay, that's not good. So excited for getting this to a point where I can just do stuff with adding grids to this. So we can every, every couple of weeks we can add a new ship. So there's always new stuff to be found. Okay, that's reassuring. Uh, if you if you hit the same block after it changes states and lose it, will it still have the chance to change again? I think so. Yes, a point where I can stop slapping more test things on the thumbnail. Indeed. See, it just changed again. Okay, cool. So the, uh, the grinder base behavior is working nicely. I'm on the ground. Delightful. Can't get far enough away. Ah, uh, no. The chance is still set to 100 because if I don't set it to 100, I couldn't test the Atmo ships reliably. What I'm going to do next is restart it with a chance of 5% and see if it happens. Because I can keep testing it by just going back to the thing so I can see whether it's just happening all the time which suggests to me that there's a regular tick checking whether you're grinding the ship uh, but there's probably some sort of cooldown I could probably set the cooldown to be honest I'm assuming oh, here we go we're going 45 meters a second sweet alright I'm just testing this element of the Atmo behavior at the moment. What I'm going to test after that is all the regular stuff. Oh, it's raining. Delightful. Uh, so. Let's change this down to five. Something nice and low. Let's see what happens. This will be pretty cool. If 5% works and you do actually get it to change behavior, but it just takes a while and a variable amount of time, I'm going to be happy with that. I think that'll be a decent balance. It also means you, you'll you get the they're on the wings message coming out. At a time when you've already spent a bit of time there. Which I think feels better as well.
Oh wow, it's about to start raining real heavy. Prepare for static in background of microphone. I am aware that these should be dro spawning drones and they aren't, so something's broken there, which I'm going to have to fix. Uh, but we'll get there. Now let's just check this stuff first. So. Thanks so much, Scalabion. Thanks for eight months. Okay, that didn't happen immediately. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. But it did happen. I think it gets checked quite frequently. Unless I put some sort of cooldown on it. Which maybe I should do. Put a really brief cooldown on it. I'll test that after this. See if I put like a five second cooldown on it. through this time. Doesn't seem to have changed behaviour yet. Is it now? No? Oh, now it has. Maybe this is alright. That took a while. I think that feels alright. Try one more time and see how long it takes then. So you could get lucky. This is what I was talking about earlier about how I think for things like these sorts of ships, I think having random, randomized behavior makes them feel more real when you interact with them. Uh, that's not true of all NPCs. I was watching a Game Maker's Toolkit video about um, stealth games and how the NPCs in them actually do need to be predictable to a degree to give the player a sense of agency over how they move through a space. Because um, the idea of having completely unpredictable NPCs in a stealth game is a bit not ideal. But this isn't a stealth game. So I think this works. I think it gives you that unpredictability that forces you into reaction rather than perfect planning mode. Because you're going to find it hard to plan around every possible outcome when there's enough elements of chance in it. And that's why I like to play around with chance. And that's, I think... I'd like to think that I'm partially responsible because I, I kept asking Lucas when he first started making MES uh, and when I first started making mods for it. Can I do this on a chance? Can I do this on a chance? Can I have some random control over this? Can I do this randomly? Can I do... Because I just wanted to be able to have more than one possible outcome for a specific event and have it happen relatively and have that be able to be set up relatively easily. But... I can see why that's not always beneficial. There's something about this ship that I always love doing this to. Inventory. I don't know what it is. Inventory. No idea. Full. It's just fun. Oh. Huh. It worked. The trigger as it's supposed to work just worked. I forgot that was there. <laughs> That's cool. I've got a timer turning off a warhead that's near explosion that as soon as you break these two, blows the warhead in the front part. Fuel critical. Yep. 
You're not getting much loot out of that. Is the other pot still going? Is it coming down? I think it's still flying. That's true, unless you weld a parachute, but uh, you gotta be pretty brave to get on there with a parachute. Alright. I'm happy all of that's working. I don't think we need to change the balance there. I'm pretty satisfied with where it's going on. Um, next thing. Why aren't the drones spawning? So we can close Atmo on the wings because that works. Atmo escort behavior. Let's just deal with that later. So that's not the first thing to sort out. Um, what we want is spawn groups, Atmo easy. No, we want Atmo easy behavior. Now, I think I might have modified these so there's a chance you don't get a spawn. Yeah, because you could have got action. Um, TFE, have you messed with having multiple actions possible from a trigger? If I set this to 100, or just get rid of chance, will this one happen sometimes as well? Or do I need to increase the number of max actions for that to happen? Like, do I need to set this to 2? So what I'm thinking of doing is... On a rare occasion, you'll get more than one drone, and the way I'll do that is different to what I was planning. Which means I can get rid of... this part. Once I'm done testing it. Because if this part, if this, I make it so that it instead sometimes it triggers two spawns, then I can even mess around with that. That's something I can toy with even more. So you think random... Okay, so action execution, random... In the trigger, each time the trigger fires, it will randomly select an action from the listed ones. Okay, so that's what I needed. But I think I might change this up from how I've done it. I think how I've done it's messy compared to getting rid of that. So the prox far should just trigger the chat and rarely trigger a spawn. Prox near. Prox near A does spawn A, prox near B does the base support call, prox near C. Uh, 
Okay, I've got to think about this. Which way do I want to do this? Do I want to have it pick randomly from pre-made selections? Or do I want it to be able to sometimes in a, to always do one thing and sometimes do some things on top of that? Um, I think in this one I want it to do one of these things, but see you, Delaney. Uh, the way it's written right now, all actions will be triggered, but will only show if the chance is hit. Yeah. So I think it's better to do this like building blocks. Uh, so we'll get rid of this. And we'll reassess how we're doing this. Because I may, I may adjust the space callings in a similar way. Oh boy. All right. So, action procs near A does not have a chance. It happens. Actually, let's put chance 100 just so I know that it's set to happen. So, procs near A starts the chat. And that's why it needs to happen all the time. Autopilot speed increases slightly. We... Reset these triggers so they can happen again. And we spawn stuff from spawner A. Prox near B does not do chat, does not change these things. But what it does do is it calls in for help from all nearby ACS bases. So if, say, you attack a cargo ship and there are four ACS bases nearby, you will get four additional spawns coming to protect this cargo ship. Um, if you're silly enough to do that, I think 25% is reasonable. <laughs> Proxnia C. So this was just making an escape. I don't think that's what we want C to do. I think what we want C to do is call in additional spawns, but do it very rarely. Because I think that's a better baseline and something that's easy to modify for the increased difficulties. And I think we'll use spawner B for that. Well, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe dropping the chance of this slightly to say 90%. So the vast majority of the time you're going to get a drone coming in to protect. Every now and then you'll get nearby bases sending out help. In fact, we could probably lower that, say 15%. And even more rarely you'll get this happen. Um, if I wanted to, I could add a condition in here so that these two actions can't happen unless this one has. I think I should do that. 
because I don't want I don't want the other two actions to happen unless the first one happens. Because I don't want nearby bases to be called unless the other drone has been called. Large, largely because messing with the chat command, like the stuff that gets displayed in chat with that will be horrendously painful. Um, so let's set booleans true action prox uh, condition prox near So, now I need a new condition. Uh, hang on. I don't want that to be called that. I want this to be called... ACSM. ACS condition... I don't know what to call this spawn. Hey. I'm trying to think of a useful name for this. Because uh, it's... I'll just call it condition proxnero. Um, so. Check true booleans this. Uh, it's not exactly attacked though, Vase, because Vase, because uh, attacked I would consider as damage taken. I think I've used that elsewhere. That's why I'm trying not to use that one. This is when they get within 1500 meters currently, but I'll probably expand that range a bit. Uh, well, maybe I won't actually. Maybe for Atmo ones, I'll keep it at that. Even with the new guns. Trying to deal with the new guns and the fact that the cargo ships can actually get pretty close to your base under normal conditions uh, is a pretty difficult thing to balance because I don't want them to be attacking your base all the time every time a cargo ship so goes over. Um, yeah. So now I need to check conditions, which I need to remember how to do. Uh, I need to check. Okay, I need to do that. So these other can these other spawners will have conditions of that. So only when proxnear A has been triggered can this be triggered, but it will only be triggered fifteen percent of the time anyway. And this one will only be triggered. 2% of the chance, time. But only when that's also triggered. So rarely you'll get just super smashed. Sometimes you'll get a little bit smashed if there are bases around. And really rarely you'll get smashed by the bases that are around and by the extra spawn. So you can have a really bad day. Or, once I've tested to see whether the spawn is working, uh... I might put this to 95%, so maybe 1 in 20 times you'll have a really good day. Because if this doesn't spawn, you're in the clear. See ya, Drago. Um...
brain. Yeah, I think we're ready to test. I think we're ready to test. So we should get a spawn. And if we get a spawn, I'm just going to assume that the other things are working. <laughs> um, no, I shouldn't. I've got to test them. Uh, so I'm going to need to put the call-in spawns from other bases to maximum after I test to see if this works at all. Wow. That has spawned in just as I came in, but I'm just going to bleed anyway. Alright, ladybug. That's kind of the idea, Vase. I wanted to make something that Planning for the attack creates some interesting challenges. Gat! Okay, we've had a bad day. Uh, Proxfar A. Okay, so we got the spawn of we got the spawn happening from Proxfar A, <laughs> from Proxfar B. So this chance needs to drop a lot. Yes, 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 we get rid of this. Uh, that needs to drop back down to 2% because that shouldn't happen all the time. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Mosquitoes inbound. Sweet. Oh, nuts. Uh, so we can change this. That doesn't need to be high. Let's make it really rare. I don't want that to happen much. That'll become more frequent for the higher difficulties, but for easy baseline, I want it to be easy, easy. I want it to be rare. Uh, so now we got procs near, and I wanted to max the chance for this to happen. And then we'll do a reload. Then I'll spawn in a bunch of bases. Because if we get a bunch of bases spawn in and then we get a whole lot of drones, I know that's working. And the other one's such a simple action, I'm not worried about it. Okay. Spawn planetary installation. Okay, we have an installation. And yes, that does say inhibitor field. Now the installations have to all be here before the cargo ship. I think I might be at the maximum number of things around here. That'll do anyway. Now uh, let's get a cargo ship. Now I just gotta hope that I can get close to the cargo ship without triggering any of the bases. on that one is working as planned. And 
and we have a single wasp drone. So nope, that function is not working. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. A single wasp. Nothing coming from the other bases. <sighs> Grat. Now that could be a couple of different possibilities. I kind of need to set a chat thing up because this action may not even be triggered. Because I've got this set to max actions one. Let's try that again. Is your blanket tasty, Charlie? Another one. There you go. <laughs> Just give me such a weird look while I wait for this to load. <sighs> Fuel critical. Bye, Panini. Okay, we've got an installation. All right, we've got a few. Let's get a cargo ship now. Hey, Nenra. How's it going? Uh, please work. Got nothing. Grr. Why? Uh, there's so many reasons why this could be broken. So let's just get a chat in. And see if we get the chat to play twice. So if the chat plays twice, then we're good. Then it's some stuff up in my way that I'm calling the help from the other bases, which is much more complicated. But at least I know this part works. So, you know, yay for partial victories. <laughs> uh this these things are always a real struggle for me i'm i'm not good at this stuff i do it because i want the outcomes but i am not good at it i'm real bad at it actually um my head just doesn't work in the right way for a lot of this stuff to come to me even vaguely quickly but I muddle my way through
Okay. So the trigger's working. I mean, the action's working. It's the... So I'm not actually getting the assistance. Oh boy. That's... That's kind of worse. So... We have... Conditions, that's fine. The condition is working because we're getting the pro the chat. Um, broadcast command profiles, true. Command profile IDs, ACS base support call. Okay. ACS base support call. I lay out action. Wait, how does this work? <laughs> totally forgotten how this part of it works. Poop. Okay. So I think... I actually don't know. I really don't remember how this works. So long ago, Lucas helped me set this up. Um... That's the action, and that's the... No, the base support call isn't working at all, Vase. Um, the single drone that's spawning is being called in by the cargo ship, not by the bases. Um, oh, what am I doing? So when this action does this, it's broadcasting the ACS base support call command profile ID, which goes to which is this command code now if we have a look at the behavior for my bases that should have an action related to that specific command signature but I don't think it does because there should be a trigger for that and there's no trigger because there should be a trigger waiting for that base support. Oh no, base out my easy, base support call. Here we go. There is a trigger for it. So command received, ACS base support call. That's the base, that's the support call that I sent out. It's this minimum cooldown that might be the problem. I might not be waiting long enough. Be 
before we actually get to that point. So if I get rid of the cooldowns, we'll see if this works. So that action should lead to causing us to doing a spawner event. So let's get rid of that cooldown. Uh, I do want to keep a cooldown in there, but let's get rid of it and then reload the game. Did say that, didn't I? Yeah. Reload the game and see if this works. Because I think, think that might be where it was going wrong. Because that was a minimum of three minutes after the spawning of the base and i don't know that i was really waiting three minutes and it could have been up to what's six minutes or something like that can't remember what the numbers were now but yeah it was there was a fairly broad window there that could have been causing issues Struggling to spawn stuff around here. There we go. Other types, etc. Hopefully they are all spelled correctly, Gross. I I can see one issue, so I'll see if I can fix that before I go back and check and if if this doesn't work this time. I'm pretty sure I've had this work before. And so we get to 1500 meters, we should get the next trigger. Yep, we're getting the double trigger. And we have how many drones? One. Dang it! Uh, yes, Edric, it is going to replace all of the other mods once it's working, which it's not. I think this might not need to be here. I don't know why that's there. Why do I have an action for that? Wait, do I have an action triggering, triggering an action? No, I don't. Is there any way that action could be causing problems? think so. Is it still rival AI command? Maybe some of this stuff's been changed. Um... Command profiles allow you to specify a group of data that is broadcast from one encounter and then received by other encounters within antenna range. It is important that you use a unique subtype ID for each command profile you create.
So rival AI command, command code, single recipient, false, match sender, receiver, owners, true. Let's try ignoring antenna requirement. See if that's part of the issue. Uh, and then radius. Sure, send target ID. That should be done too. Um, no, we're not sending waypoints. Uh, receiver antenna should be fine because all the bases have an antenna. Or do they anymore? Can't actually remember. That does. That does. That does and that does. Um... Uh, And they're set to big ranges. Okay. So that's fine. Let's remove all that. Uh, let's get down to ground level. Save and reload. Yeah, so one of the reasons I wanted to create a single mod was not having was having an easier time allowing the mods to interact with one another. But also because I wanted to just maintain one mod. I don't want to be duplicating stuff between two mods or three mods. And I'd like to balance this so that there's no reason why you should want to play with one or not and not another. And if you really do want to get rid of a particular spawn, there are things within um, MES that allow you to blacklist certain spawns anyway. So you can have that control if you really want it. I don't need to be providing that control to you separately. And yeah, yeah, Nenra. One mod to combine them, one mod to coordinate, one mod to rule them all. Uh, and as much as it might upset a few people... I am going to be having this replace the current Assertive Cargo Ships mod. So that one will be getting replaced. So anyone who's subscribed to it will be switching over to this. Because that mod page is the main one. And it makes most sense for me to replace it. Uh, they won't dock at the assert bases, Edric, but they will go to them. And we only got a single spawn again. Yes, and then <laughs> you're you're um, well aware of the disadvantages and advantages to optimizing mods and doing different things like that. Wait, is this going to one of these bases, or is it spinning around because I'm standing on top of it? 
spinning around because I'm standing on top of it. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Trigger is there. Why you no work? I'm not okay with this. The trigger, I don't think the trigger is being picked up because we're not getting the chat. Is there even a chat data for that, actually? That's an interesting question. Uh... Chat based support call. Yes, there is. Distress call received, drone inbound. So there is a chat for that. So why? Why? Let's start from the top again. Let's make sure everything's right. So... This sort of thing starts with, have we defined the base support call command ID? So we've got a command here. It's defined. The code is ACS base support call. That code is sent out by... I really don't think this action is required. I don't know what it's for. Don't know why I did this. Don't know why this action's here. Anyway. So, our Atmo... Uh, where is it? Why is Atmo easy behavior? There you go. So, our Atmo easy behavior has a broadcast command profiles true, which is... So it has a broadcast command profiles true. The command profile ID matches. That's what I should need to do to get that to broadcast a command profile. Uh... to see uh, there should be a command something in here broadcast command profiles this tag specifies if the behavior should broadcast one or more command profile to other nearby NPCs 
So we've got that. Broadcast command profile is true. Then command profile IDs. And then we have the ID. That's the same as what I've got written there. It's got the correct thing. So with theory, this should be sending out that base support call because it exists, because I've defined it. And it should then be accepted. I still don't know why I've got this action. It's a different command profile ID. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't think it's needed. Uh, yeah, the bases themselves are working. Um, this just seems to be an empty action that is just sending out this command. I don't know why I have that action. Uh, there is a chat response in the if the bases are receiving the trigger. So my my thinking is there's something broken. Either the either the cargo ship isn't sending out the command, or the base isn't receiving that command. Something's broken in that phase because we're not getting the chat to say that the base has received the command. Um. I really don't think this thing is needed. I don't know how to set up the right debug, Edric, unfortunately. Usually Lucas just kind of gives me commands and I blindly enter them because I don't know which ones I'm actually using. No, Hexless, the scavenger hunt scenario will not be on the workshop. It's As I've explained in the description and in the um, comment on the first video, it is not a workshop capable scenario. It is set up to be run by active player interact interventions by a game master. So it's not a workshop scenario and it will never be. Some of the mods that we're using will be published to the workshop after we're done, but it is impossible for it to be a workshop scenario. Um, I really want to delete this, but I'm just worried I'm going to do something annoying. I can't see any reason that's there. Um, why have I got send target entity ID? Why did I send that? No, TFE, that's not the action for using that command code. That's not what it's supposed to be. The action for using this command code is... Uh, where is it? This. Because there's a trigger, command received, this command. I don't have any working ones with this function, unfortunately, Adaranen. This command here, this action... broadcasts this command profile ID, which is not actually a command profile ID. It's the subtype ID of the command. 
which uses the command code this. So what I thought this file should be doing is just defining this command code and how it works, not defining an action that calls this subtype ID. Because that action shouldn't do anything. But should I be, ah, wait a second. Does that mean if we go to, uh, I wish I could find things quicker. At more easy behavior, should this command profile ID not be the actual command code, but be the um, profile ID? I'm assuming it should be the profile ID. So I should get rid of this, like I planned. And put this... into here because I was sending out the command rather than the command code because now that's going to trigger to this which sends out this command code which then the base can listen for maybe <laughs> if I'm vaguely understanding this correctly Uh, we got anything? Yes, we do. Oof. Uh, Iron Moon, this is going to be the replacement for all my assertive mods. That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm going to be working on all week when I have extra slots. I may even do it tomorrow instead of my survival thing to try and keep up the momentum. Work on it today, tomorrow, and Thursday and see if I can get it to behavior stable so I can release it. Fuel critical. Alright. Spawn the installations. Now we got more than a couple. We've got two. What? A bunch so that we can really tell. Give me the. Grr. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's remove that Mayfly because we don't want that. Ha, <laughs> yeah, I didn't exactly do it before I forget how I was doing it. Some passive detection. We're still at just the cruiser and four bases. Now when we get within 1.5, let's see what happens. Oh, we got distress call received from two bases. We now have so many drones. <laughs> we got five, so many. Okay, yeah, it worked. So that's where I had it wrong. I was... Yep. Excellent. 
This ship is gonna get torn, torn to shreds. Whoops. When these drones arrive. Yep. This would be a very, very bad day. Especially since the drones doing damage to you if you get actually get to these ships will cause more things to get spawned in. How many drones have we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a very bad day. Glad to finally work that bit out. I should have realized when it was saying IDs that it was looking for the subtype ID, not the command code. Because that's where I got it wrong. I was sending a command, a command code out instead of sending out a subtype ID, which was the command code to be sent out. Um, forgetting that there's always that extra layer that I need to keep in mind. So... That means that all of the cargo ship behaviours, as I intended them, are working. Which means tomorrow morning I'm going to come back and I'm going to look at all of the base behaviours and see if they are working. Uh, hang on, do I have a quick balance? Do I have any... Uh, do I have any chance-based things I needed to reset? Yes, because we don't want this happening 100% of the time. We want this happening 15% of the time. There we go. So now, now the cargo ship behaviors are all correct. Which means that if I get the base behaviors set up, so for both the planetary bases and lunar bases I've got all the behaviors done for easy level then we can step up and modify them for medium difficulty or hard or I could have more gradations than that which maybe I should do maybe I should look at having four levels instead of just three so I think three was making it so I had things a bit difficult uh the duplicate chats uh, yeah, there's one duplicate chat I should get rid of. This one. The bases will send out multiple. That's fine. If there are two bases, you'll get two chats. I, I'm not too fussed about changing that. Installation. This is Spaghetti Cruiser on approach for drop-off. Because, yes, that's a thing that cargo ships do too. They actually get called to bases and will go down to them. Drone call to be 95%. Uh, uh, not for the near one, for the far one I did. Looks far. Here we go. Thank you. 95. There we go. And those chances will obviously be modified for the higher difficulties. Uh, Nev, I'd have to set up some sort of random response delay for the spawns. But to be honest, the chances of you attacking a cargo ship where there are multiple bases in range is, is pretty small, I think. Um... But yeah, that's something... Let's put that in the to-do list. Uh, I will edit the to-do list for... Oh, actually. Uh... Oh, I kind of need to look at that now because I'm going to forget. Base ammo, easy behavior. So 
So this trigger. Yeah, I don't think there's any nice way that I can think of that's not going to be ridiculous. Because it would need to be this trigger for each base that has some sort of delay on the chat being sent out and it would need to be a randomized delay and I don't think that's something I am aware of a neat way of implementing. I I agree it'd look it'd be nice if it wasn't so duped, but I don't think there's a neat way of implementing that. What I might do though is get rid of this. Cuz now that we know it works, now they have to be in antenna range. Which is fine. That's what I wanted. And that's going to reduce the potential for duplicated messages even more. Oh, there's nothing left. <laughs> yeah. I've now just... So, the base behaviors that I want to check and make sure are working tomorrow... The bases have a couple of things. We know that they'll spawn drones called for the cargo ships, so that's part of what they need to do. They will send out commands for cargo ships to come land at them, which they will do. They need to sit in a fairly idle mode most of the time, but occasionally send out drones to attack you if they hate you enough. That's the thing I need to test. Because that doesn't seem to be working in Survival Impossible. Um, so that function needs to be tested and confirmed if it's actually working or not. Uh, and if that function is working, then the bases are working. Assuming they can spawn in the correct locations where I want them and they all spawn at the correct heights and stuff which they do based on my previous testing uh, if you attack the drones do they call for more? no I thought of doing that but then that was it was too easy for it to just become a runaway doom <laughs> moment for the player if you destroy a drone you should be able to go yeah I'm now getting the upper hand I don't want it to call more and you don't actually get further impaired uh, the drones do not run out of ammo no they use magical ammo they run out of power though and when they run out of power they'll despawn uh, when they get close to running out of power they'll despawn I think they hang around for 5 minutes or something maybe it's not even close to running out of power I think it may just be 5 minutes so if you can run away from them for five minutes, they'll back off. Um, I can't think of anything else that's a behavior for the bases that I need to do. I think that's all the behaviors. It's just check that the what I used to call the war and peace modes are working. If they're working, then behavior-wise, the easy stuff, we're ready to go. All I need to do is make sure that I've got properly defined easy, medium, hard, and you're going to die. <laughs> Difficulties. Because um, I, think, I think that's kind of what I've always envisaged as the basic behavior elements for the assertive mods they were supposed to be bases that would every now and then send a drone out to attack you so you're kind of put on notice that you need to attack that base but because i'm integrating the bases into the assertive cargo ships mod which was a much more passive mod um unless you've attacked assert those initial bases shouldn't do that which is going to be tricky to test but what the new behavior should be is the base spawns 
it checks to see if you're if you uh, be mean to a cert, which is basically if your standing is low enough against a cert, it will then start sending drones out to you, attack you occasionally. Um, once you've reached that threshold, they'll just keep doing that occasional attack. But most of the time, they'll just sit in a passive state so that you're in control of when this fight happens. And you won't need to have excessive defenses to protect yourself. Because I think, based on my experience in Survival Impossible, the amount of damage that a large grid can do with those large grid reavers, even if it just crashes on you, I think that's more than I want to do to players. I don't think I want to do that much damage to players when they're at home. I want to do this sort of damage, where a little drone will come in, you'll take a bit of damage, you'll be like, Purr. Okay, I don't, I don't want to take... I will put defenses out further than my perimeter. Like, I'll put a defense perimeter out, so that the drones get smashed before they can actually hit my base. And I think that feels like an interesting way to engage with the drones, but not a death sentence. I don't want death sentences. I don't want to Stone Age the player, basically. What I want to do is make them so they actually have to think about their defenses a bit. That's all I want. I just want them to have to think about defenses so they can't just be completely passive. But I don't want them to be a death sentence. So that's what I want to sort of test and set out tomorrow. If that's all working, then on Thursday... I will do the setting up of all the different difficulty levels for all the different spawns, testing to make sure they're all working at all the difficult, all the different difficulty levels. And if they are, then I'll publish the mod. Oh, the other thing I need to set up with the bases is which ones are going to have inhibitors and which ones aren't. Some will, most won't. Uh, and if they are going to have inhibitors, it'll mainly be drill ones. Not jetpack ones. So yeah. So I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow for some more of this. Uh, followed by some co-op shenanigans with Capac and Wasted after that. And then Wednesday, hopefully some Survival Impossible. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. I think. <laughs> Unless my brain's exploded. Which it might have. See ya, everyone.